My name is Chad Williams, and today we're going to talk about a linear mix effect model with a single factor. Another way of thinking about this is a repeated measures simple regression. Because when we use the LM function, as I have in another video, we assume it's an independent samples, which means we have multiple groups, not the same people doing multiple things. So when we have the same people doing multiple things, we can't rely on that function, but we can rely on linear mix effect modeling. Let's start off by making some data. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a data frame and we start off with scores. So we have two different conditions here. So we have one group of 50 people doing two different things. So what we need is two distributions, one for each condition. So we're gonna use concatenate and the first condition is gonna have 50 people, our sample size will be 50, and we'll say the mean is 200 and the standard deviation is 20. Now the second condition is going to have the same 50 people and let's say a mean of 300 and a standard deviation of 20. Great, now what we need to do is actually discuss our conditions. So we're gonna use orthogonal coding here, but I'm not gonna get into why that is important or what it means. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the concatenate and we're gonna repeat negative one 50 times and then positive one 50 times. And all that's saying is we're gonna code our first variable or our first condition as negative one and that's boom right there. And our second condition as positive one. They're just identifier values. Finally, what we need is subject ID, so subject equals, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one to 50. And if we run all of this, what we get is this data frame, and what we see is our scores, and then our condition, either negative one or positive one, and then our subjects here, and what we'll see is the first 50, which is condition negative one, goes to 50, and then it starts over, because we know that person one, for example, was in both conditions. So if we look at our data frame, what we see is condition is numeric and subject is interval, but we need them as factors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say reg data column two, because that's our condition column, equals as factor reg data column two. And we could do that for column three as well. And there we have it, now they're factors. So now let's do linear mix effect modeling. We're gonna do this with the LMER function from the LME4 package. So let's load that package. If you don't have it, install it. Uh, we're also gonna use the LMER test, and this is gonna give us p-values to our results because the LMER function doesn't. So if we want p-values, and you might not, but if you do, you're gonna need this other package as well. So we're gonna load these two things. So what we want is our reg results equals LMER scores is our Y variable by condition plus, and this is where the random effects come in. So that condition is our fixed effect. And now this part that we're about to do is what's making it a repeated measures design. And we're gonna do in brackets one vertical bar subject. So we're just telling it hey, look at the subject IDs, and then you'll know which subject has repeated conditions. And then finally, we need to tell it what data frame to look at. So we're gonna go data equals reg data. And if we run that, we get our model created. And then we're gonna do ANOVA reg underscore results. And that looks just like this. So what we have is our condition is significant. We have our sums of squared, our mean squared, our degrees of freedom for the numerator, degrees of freedom for the denominator, our F value, and then our P value. And you can write the results as so, which is F brackets one comma 49, which is our two degrees of freedoms, equals our F value, so 1143.5. 40, comma p is less than 0. 0.0001. And there you have it, a linear mix effect model with one factor, or a repeated measures linear regression. 